Hey everyone, this is just a really quick video to say that if you have not um, become a fan of my Facebook page, I would invite you to do so. Just go to Facebook, type in Lima Tunes, and you'll see the avatar of Marvin the Martian with the 1911. That's me. Um, what I do with my Facebook page is I try to have a lot of interactions throughout the, the week. I just find it a little bit easier to interact on Facebook than I do on, on YouTube with people who, who want to talk or have, you know, whatever. Um, and if I do any kind of a write-up on anything that I, I'm not able to do a video on just yet, like for instance I did a kind of a write-up on a range report of my Glock 19, I put that on Facebook. Um, so anything that I can't do a video about but I can write about it, I'll put it on um, the Facebook page. So it's just something um, that makes it a little bit easier to interact with people. And um, like I said, go to Facebook, type in Luma Tunes, look for the avatar, just hit the like button, and that's all there is to that. Um, I gotta go to bed here because I actually have a training tomorrow I'm really excited about. Uh, I got all my stuff together. I've got my Glock 19. I have 350 rounds of 9mm um, targets. Oh, which reminds me, these are my um, targets from my range session with the with the Glock 19 before the Gen 4. And some people are confused about the size. These are not standard B-Mod targets. They're not that big. Um, you can see my grouping. It's kind of hard. And if my video is mirror imaged again, I don't know. Sometimes my videos get mirror imaged. Um, so my targets are not standard B-Mod targets for people who is wondering the size of my target. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to take my video camera with me tomorrow. I, I mean, I'll take it with me, but I'm not sure I'll be able to get any video of the actual training session. I might, but I might not. So, but I probably will at least do a write-up and do a follow-up on how the Glock shot. Because I know a lot of people were concerned about, um, you know, the failures that I had with my Glock. The five failures, the, the three failures for the slide to lock back, and the two... Uh, failures to feed. So I will definitely be doing a follow-up on whether or not I had any failures, failures to slide. I will be able to tell you um, after having an, an instructor's, and this guy is, the instructor that I'm going to be with is pretty much like a 100% Glock guy. So, um, I mean, he used to be a 1911 guy who turned into an HK guy who turned into a Glock guy. So he'll be able to give me a, um, an impartial assessment of my grip, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Maybe be able to fix some quirks that I might have to work out from going from a 1911 to a Glock with a different manual of arms. Um, but I'll definitely be doing a follow-up on that and tell you if I had any any other issues. Probably bring home some targets and uh, probably see you tomorrow night. <laughs>